Welcome to Hot Button. Now last week we chatted about dress codes in the workplace and just to follow up we wanted to re read some of the comments that were mentioned on social media. So on Facebook we have TravelTheCanyon.com says we live in a world with 7 billion people in public workplaces creating an environment that's safe and comfy for all of us. So keeping this uniform and generic is a way to do that. So thank you very much for your comments. Now this week uh, with different uh, trends going on, we thought we would talk about food fads. Now you've heard about them, you've seen them everywhere. Every year there sort of seems to sort of be a trend or something that a lot of people tend to be doing and the media is talking about it. There's everything from the Atkins diet a few years ago, South Beach, um, I know there's the raw food diet, that sort of thing. Uh, I've never really gotten involved in any of them. I mean, of course, it's very attractive. Everyone's doing it. They're getting results. So you're like, ooh, this is kind of interesting. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is I did used to do some fitness classes. I used to do that. And as part of our training, we had to do some nutrition. Mm -hmm. So I learned about some factual stuff about which is basic body nutrition and that sort of thing. So I could never really, I guess, deny that knowledge that I knew so to go all the way onto like a diet that says they knew the secret all of a sudden. Right. Well, um, I try to be um, a vegetarian. I'm actually a pescatarian. So that means um, I eat fish. And you know, I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more proteins in my diet because I found trying to be a vegetarian, you end up eating a lot of carbohydrates. You end up eating the pastas and the breads and the starchy foods. Well, it's so convenient. And because you want to feel full, right? Of course. But you know, if I am, if I do choose to eat, you know, chicken or fish, I always try and get you know organic or free range or or something like that. That's a lot of restaurants and that sort of thing. A lot of places, if you eat out, if you don't make it yourself, there aren't a lot of vegetarian options. I mean, it's starting to move a little bit more like that now. Mm -hmm. But uh, for people who have chosen to be vegetarian in the past, not necessarily. Now, have you ever done any like raw food? Or I mean, I like definitely that? do cleanses. I try to do a cleanse, you know, ah. once or twice a year. And so it's more so, yeah, incorporating the raw foods. So e eating no meats, eating no dairy, eating, you know, no caffeine, no alcohol, you know, limiting the sugars, that type of thing. But that's a food fed too, especially at the beginning of the year, the cleanse thing. There's companies that make, you know, packages and then there's people that just do, oh, I'm going to do the soup one just to reset my, my body and that stuff. Does it like actually work for you? Like the wild rose cleanse, that's a really popular one as well. It does work, although, I mean, you end up being angry because you're hungry the whole time. Hangry. Hangry. <laughs> you end up being hangry the whole time. And as well as when your body is detoxing, because all those toxins are trying to get out of your body, you end up breaking out, your skin is kind of bad, you're irritable. So it's not really a fun time. But you definitely do feel sort of lighter and you do get a little bit more energy at the end. But it's not long term. No, no, it's only about, I think I've lasted 10 days at the, at the most. And I think that's the, the thing for most of these food fads, most of them don't last. I mean, the vegetarian veganism thing, that's here to stay. That's not going anywhere. But I think, you know, as long as it's a type of eating, it is a type of eating. As long as you're getting, you know, all your nutrients and you're getting proteins from other sources, I think that's a great way to go. Well, you mentioned uh, vegetarian eating a lot of carbs because the big thing I see right now is this whole gluten free industry. All of a sudden, these products start saying gluten free this, gluten free that. People are doing recipes and, and then they're advertising, oh, it's a gluten free item. Like, is that so great even? Well, I think that's come along because uh, celiac disease is now recognized as the most chronic chronic disease in the world. It affects as many as one in every 100 to 200 people in North America and as many as 300,000 Canadians have this disease. However, it you know, it remains undiagnosed for the most part. And I mean, of course, some people are actually going to have a reaction to having wheat in their diet, that sort of thing. But it seems that everyone's kind of doing it just because it seems to be the popular thing now. So what are you eating? Have you tried all the food fads? Tell us about it. You can connect with us on Twitter or Facebook. And on the next episode of Hot Button, we'll revisit your comments.